This week on Real Life with Type 2 Diabetes. I might be spiking my blood sugar for no reason. I'll be walking for about an hour. I decided that I'm not going to test yet. I'm a little scared. The maltodextrin in the uh, palm kernel oil. I do a double shot of espresso, do a scoop of collagen, do some hot water, a pinch of cinnamon, and a tablespoon of cream. And that's my breakfast. Just a few updates. Um, somebody did ask for me to share uh, more of what I'm eating throughout the day. So I'm going to try and do that this week, um, which is why I showed you how I made my coffee this morning. That's all I have usually for breakfast is just a coffee. Sometimes on weekends I might have some more, but usually weekdays I just have a coffee. That's all I feel like I need. I don't really feel like eating in the morning, so I don't. Um, I'm going to check my blood sugars now to see how they're at, where they're at. It's 9 a.m. right now, so they're probably still high. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to be talking a little bit about, um, the products I've been testing and some changes I'm going to make. Um, because I've noticed that uh, when I test products, I tend to try and fast and then not eat anything and then eat the product just so that I'm not having any food around that product so I know that it's that product that affected my blood sugar either way. Um, so currently at 9.7, which is quite high for morning, although I've had higher, um, I'm wondering if it's still the effects from yesterday's um, bar that I had. Um, so speaking of that bar and other products, I've decided that I'm not going to test any more products. Um, not that I'm not interested in, to see how they affect me, it's just I find by doing it and trying not to eat before or trying not to eat after for two hours, I feel like it's not something as a type 2 diabetic that I should be doing for my own health and my own blood sugars. I'm putting myself, I wouldn't say at risk, but you know, there is a tendency where I'm, I might be spiking my blood sugar for no reason just to test a product. Um, especially when there's no food around it. Sometimes I'm, I've been feeling lightheaded. Um, and sometimes I feel like I want to eat, but I don't because I'm trying to test the product and I want to wait the full two hours afterwards. Um, or sometimes that product might sp spike my blood sugar, but then come down really fast. So when I come down is when I feel lightheaded and I don't want to eat because I have the two hours isn't up yet. So it's just stuff like that that I think is kind of messing with my system. Um, so this week I'm just going to eat normally. I'm going to eat. Uh, my coffee, I'm going to have my coffee every morning, I'm going to have lunch and dinner. And if I have a snack, I'll let you know I had a snack. Um, but I might also do some fasting, so it doesn't mean I don't want to fast, it just means if I do fast, I don't want to try and have a product in between or, you know, just to test something up. Um, so far, most of the products have been okay with me. The only thing that hasn't been so far is the Smart Sweets and the Built Bar yesterday. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to monitor if I do have a product while I eat something else. Like, let's say I eat lunch and then right after lunch I have a product. I'm pretty sure if my blood sugars are still high after that, I'm pretty sure it's the product because most what I have for lunch or dinner is is pretty much zero to very low carb that doesn't that food that doesn't affect me anyway so I'm not going to eat products away from other foods anymore um so this week I'm going to share more of what I'm eating 
And I might do another Costco haul uh, this week as it's been almost a month since my last one. And I'm due to go uh, for Costco as I'm running out of food in the freezer. Um, and if I do any other grocery shopping, maybe I'll take you along with me. I also, um, so today's Monday, Wednesdays are my recipe days, so I'll be shooting two new recipes on Wednesday. I haven't decided exactly what yet, but I will let you know, and that, as always, I'll link the recipes below in the comment section of uh, the description for this video. Okay, so it's just before lunch. I haven't had anything since I had my coffee earlier. Um, as you know, this morning my numbers were 9.7. So um, I'm going to check it now before lunch to see where we're at. Uh, hopefully they went back down. If not, it's got to be something I ate yesterday. And um, obviously yesterday I had um, the Built Bar. I also had the Skinny Syrup, but that was early morning and it didn't tend, didn't seem to affect my blood sugar. But sometimes people say that some foods may not affect their blood sugar until the next day. Um, so, I'll have to keep an eye on that as well. However, as I said before, I'm not doing any more fasting to test a product. Um, so let's see where we're at. I'm using the Fora 6 Connect today. Uh, again, that was sent to me by Fora 6 and they sent me a discount code if you wanna have a look and get 10% off, there's a code down below in the description. I'm still at 9.6, which is still pretty high um, for morning, although it's before noon, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. Hopefully it's going back down. I'm wondering if it is something I had yesterday. I don't think my morning coffee um, with the collagen would keep me high that long. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have lunch because I'm hungry and I'm gonna show you what I'm having. Okay, so for lunch I'm having some Dubliner cheese, some dill mozzarella, some crackers that I made with almond flour and uh, pilly nuts. Um, they're nuts that I buy from Switch Grocery. Um, so if you're in Canada, I'll link below if you want to purchase from Switch Grocery. And this is Soprasata, which my brother made and sent me from, he lives in Vancouver. So it's a cured sausage. So that's what I had for lunch. Um, I forgot to mention those crackers that I made. Um, if you find me on Instagram at iHackDiabetes, you can go to my highlights. And I have saved a previous recipe that I did for those crackers. However, I will do a cracker recipe um, with just using general ingredients um, in the future. Um, just because I know not everybody has access to those uh, nuts or some of the other ingredients I used in my uh, Instagram post. So I'm gonna work on a cracker recipe that you can use simply with just almond flour and some cheese and some spices. So I'll post that in the next couple of weeks. I'll work on that one. Um, so now that I've eaten, I'm going to check my blood sugars in about two hours to see if eating has helped bring it down. Um, sometimes blood sugars are maybe a little wonky and need food. Um, and until they get food, they're not going <laughs> to go down, <laughs> which is strange. Um, blood sugars, I'm learning, are really strange. Um, you know, sometimes you expect it to be low and it's high. Sometimes you expect, oh, my blood sugar must be high and it's low. It's really hard um, to figure it out. But the good thing is, is that I can pretty much do it without medication and just monitor what I'm eating. Um, and hopefully now that I'm not going to be testing out some products that may be triggering my blood sugars, uh, hopefully I can continue to get it down and I need to do some more fasting. I know that I've always been doing fasting It's just sometimes it was difficult to do like a full day fast because I was testing a product um, and then some days 
When I'm shooting recipe videos, I can't really fast on those days because I'm tasting and testing the recipe, so it's not really fasting. I'm curious to see if my blood sugars went down. Because it was seemed really high around noon, but again, it's... My morning blood sugars are still playing with me. 7.6, so... Not bad. Um, I wish it was lower. And for dinner tonight, I'm having a meat pie. Leftovers from the other night. Made with my quiche crust. Good morning. It's breakfast and I'm having more than just coffee. I felt hungry today. So I'm having a cheese folio wrap with some salami in it. And it's almost 8 a.m. And we'll see how that goes. And I'm having my usual coffee the same way I made it yesterday. Morning, it's about uh, 10 a.m. And um about to check my blood sugars for the first time today. Um, as you saw, I had my coffee this morning. And I had um, that cheese wrap with some salami in it. I felt a little hungry this morning. And I thought, eh, might as well eat if you're hungry. Um, so let's check my blood sugars to see where they're at now. It's 10 a.m., so usually in the morning it's pretty high. Um, I'm wondering, maybe since I was hungry and I ate something, maybe that helped to lower it. Uh, we'll see, um, how it goes. By the way, I want to update you on my weight loss. Um, as I mentioned in the past couple of weeks, I've been focusing on losing more weight um, because I find uh, it's a little easier when I lose weight to also bring my blood sugars down. And as usual in the morning, it's 9.6. Let's check back around noon and see where it's at. Um, however, um, in terms of my weight, I initially lost seven pounds and I've been stuck at 230 pounds for the last two weeks um even on days where i think i eat a lot less or I eat lower in carbs i feel like on days where i eat full meals um for lunch and dinner and i eat all my calories that i'm supposed to for that day i tend to lose more weight rather on the days where i eat a lot less calories and less carbs I think my body holds on to the weight. Um, even though I am stuck, I know it's just a number on the scale and you know, even my clothes fit a little looser. But it's nice to see that scale go down too, and eventually it will, but in the last two weeks I've, I've been stuck at the same weight. So it's about 12.30 and I haven't eaten yet and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. Before I do that, I'm going to check my blood sugars um, this morning after eating um, that uh, cheese and the salami. I checked my blood sugars around 10 and if I remember correctly, it was at 8.7. Um, I think that's what my machine says here, 8.7. So I'm going to check now and see where we're at. And hopefully it went down. Let me try a different finger. Ugh. Let's check it out. Ah, that's good. 6.7. I think that might be one of the best readings uh, before lunch that I've had in a while, other than when I did my fast. So that's good. Um, I'm wondering if it's because I ate something for breakfast this morning. Um, and I wanted to do that test on purpose to see. And I'm going to try that again tomorrow, and we'll see. I'm going to test in the morning, eat eat breakfast, test, and then I'm going to test again at around 12.30 and see where my numbers are at. I'll test at 12.30 before I eat lunch. 
Um, so that's good, 6.7. So before lunch I was, what, 6.8? 6.7? So now, where am I today? What a fudge? How did that happen? 9.3. I don't believe this one. <laughs> it's pretty high. What did I have for lunch? I had eggs, pancetta, and cheese. That can't skyrocket me that high. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try with my other meter. 7.8. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't like that. <laughs> um, remember when I tried them both when I first got it and they were accurate? They were matching? And now they're not. So now I'm gonna go back to the other meter one more time. Maybe I had a bad strip. Huh, it was off, 7.9. So that's okay, uh, 7.8, 7.9, 1.1 difference. I'm much uh, relieved that they are matching. <laughs> so for dinner I'm having a cheese wrap pizza with two slices of Parmesan one cheddar and I'm gonna put sauce on it more cheese and pepperoni and bake it in the oven check it out good morning it's day three of week five and I'm just getting on here now as it's almost noon um, had a busy morning I had to take my car into the shop for some maintenance and I've been writing some recipe uh, posts. I'm gonna check my blood sugar for the first time today. Also, I did the same thing I did yesterday where um, for breakfast I had a cheese wrap as I showed you with um, some salami in it and that was this morning around 8 a.m. Um, and it seemed to drop my blood sugars yesterday by around 11.30 a.m. So. Let's see if that's gonna happen today. <laughs> 8.9. So I guess it didn't, uh, I guess it didn't drop <laughs> uh, like it did yesterday after eating. But um, I'm gonna try it again tomorrow and see if there's a trend in terms of eating something and then waiting a bit and checking my blood sugar. Um, to get those morning blood sugars down. Anyways, it's 8.9 now. I'm going to go have lunch. And um, we'll check back later on. Today's lunch. Some soppressata cured sausage. Some Dubliner cheese. Olives. A pickle sliced up. And some almonds. That's all I'm having today for lunch. It's almost 5 p.m. I've been working all day and I'm gonna start thinking of dinner although I have no idea what I'm eating yet because I forgot to take something out of the freezer. <laughs> Usually I take something out of the freezer in the morning so that I have an idea of what I might be having but not today I forgot. 7.4 you can see that. So, I'm surprised my blood sugars are still in the sevens around 5 p.m. That tells me that something's been affecting my blood sugars. Um, trying to think, because all I had for lunch, I had that, um, the cheese, pickle, olives. I didn't have anything that had any sweeteners in it or anything with high fiber in it. Um, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on what I'm going to um, be eating in the morning. Although I thought 
I was doing that test in the morning for breakfast. I'm going to do it again tomorrow just to see. But, um, yeah, I haven't had any sweeteners at all today. Nothing. Uh, nothing sweet. So I don't know what's keeping my blood sugars up. But uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it. So for dinner tonight with some uh, bacon fried up. And then I fried up three eggs in the bacon grease. I uh, made them scramble. Good morning. It is week five, day four, Thursday morning. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. I was up really early this morning at 5.30, couldn't sleep. I uh, had coffee. I had um, another cheese folio wrap with salami in it. And at 8 a.m. I went for a 30 minute walk just because I was up early and I had the time, so I did that. And now um, I'm about to start shooting some recipe videos. I'm making a chili in, an, in the Instant Pot and I'm making a braised ginger garlic chicken thighs. Um, I haven't come up with a name yet. That might be the name, but we'll see. Another thing, yesterday, I posted around, it was five o'clock and I was checking my blood sugars and it was quite high for 5 p.m. <clears throat> and I was a little confused as to why they were high, but then I went to investigate what I had for lunch again. <clears throat> and as I showed you, I had the olives, I had the soppressata, I had some cheese, and I had those almonds. Those almonds were wasabi flavored almonds and I went to go look at the ingredients and there was maltodextrin in them, uh, palm kernel oil or something like that. Um, I think maybe it had some sugar in it. So I'm pretty sure that was the reason why I was surprised by my blood sugars yesterday and that at five they were at 7.8. Okay, where are we at today? 10 a.m. and 7.8. So that's not bad for morning reading, uh, especially since I went for a walk. Um, I had that cheese folio. So I'm going to continue to eat um, something in the morning. And usually it'll be consist of a deli meat, a couple of slices, and some cheese. And that's it. Um, I'm not going to try and overdo it and eat too much. I'm not going to eat anything sweet. I'm not going to have anything sweet in my coffee. Um, as I think that's been helping bring my blood sugars down, at least even by noon. It's only 10 a.m. and it's 7.8 already. So, um, by noon, hopefully it'll continue to go back down. And, um, the rest of the day we'll be shooting recipe videos. So I'll be eating this and that. So I'm hoping... Uh, my blood sugar stayed down. I only ate this afternoon a few um, spoons of the chili and that's all I've had so far. Tonight we're going to have the ginger chicken for dinner um, and I'll post that recipe. But let's check my blood sugar. Uh, what time is it? 4.15. So last time I checked this morning, it was seven point something, six maybe. And that was at 10 a.m. I haven't checked since then. So let's see where we are now. I've been on my feet all day. I, this is my first time sitting down. <sighs> I'm going to go take a nap <laughs> after this. I'm still at 7.6, which is strange. May, well, yeah, it's kind of strange. I guess I've been on my feet all day and nonstop going, walking from my kitchen to my photo studio and my kitchen to my photo studio because I take, cook the food and then I run to the studio to take pictures and back and forth. And then I just came upstairs and unloaded everything, all my lights, my camera, my tripods, my uh, backdrops, everything. 
So, um, I'm gonna check after dinner where we're at and uh, we'll see. I think my body's just uh, on hyper adrenaline because I've been go, go, go. Um, yeah, we'll see you later. Decided to take a walk this morning. It's around 8 a.m. I was up early and thought I need some exercise. So here I am. It's almost 10 a.m. And uh, I've been up since 5.30, had my coffee, had some cheese and salami, took a shower, and I'm just heading out uh, to Costco. Uh, it's about an hour drive. I'll uh, try and show you what I bought when I get back home. Oh, I wanted to point out yesterday, uh, I think my blood sugar is around four or seven point something. I checked again before dinner around six. And they were down to 6.4, um, so that's good. I haven't checked my blood sugars today yet, and I'm going to. Um, again, just a reminder, 406 Connect, if you want 10% off, there's a link down below um, for 10% to 4 USA and 4 Canada. Um, the discount is for either US or Canadian. Point two. Can you see that? What is going on this week? I don't know what's going on. Am I doing something? Only thing I can think of is I did last night. I did have a built bar. And remember, I checked. Was it last week? How built bars affected me, and it did spike. Um. I have one more left. <laughs> I didn't want to throw them out. So once I eat that, I'm not going to buy them again. I don't think they're uh, good for me. They may be okay for you. Again, check out um, what you eat. You should do a test after you eat them. Um, I know some people eat Built Bars and they're diabetics or type 1s. And they seem to be okay with it. Um, but for me, it doesn't work. It seems like they spike my blood sugar and keep me high. Just back from my Costco trip, and I'll show you what I got. I got more Good Pat bars. Um, if you remember last week or the week before, I tested these, and they were good for my blood sugar. They didn't spike. Um, again, everybody's different, so test them on yourself. But I don't have these very often, and it's something me and my partner can share. Uh, more salami because... I like the salami and I'm uh, starting to have more uh, breakfast with some cheese, so that's good. I got 30 eggs, I got four packs of bacon. I've never bought this before, it's a Kirkland brand from Costco, but I'm hoping it's good. I got those pepperonis that I showed you before, and I got these hot dogs. Um, just for something quick to eat at lunch sometime. I got more uh, cheese folio wraps, two, um, two of them, and I got some red hot sauce because we were running out. Um, that's zero carb per tablespoon for this. Uh, I got strip loin grilling steaks, another pack of strip loin grilling steaks. I was gonna get ribeye, but I actually like these better than ribeyes. I know I'm crazy, but and you get more for your money with these. So that's another reason I got them. I got chicken wings and uh, mild Italian sausages. Cheese wise, I got Gruyere, one of our favorites. And I use that for my Keto Quiche Lorraine. That's the type of Gruyere I use. Manchego, Dubliner cheese, which is one of my favorites as well. 35% uh, cream, I got three of those. Mustard, cause I ran out. Uh, mayo was on sale. And I bought these Carbonat breads. Um, haven't had them yet. Um, a lot of people are raving about them. So I'll give it a try. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'm hoping I do, cause I bought two bags. Hey, just uh, 5 p.m. I'm about to check my blood sugars. Um, so I showed you what I bought at Costco and it's pretty much the same as I bought last time. <laughs> I'm pretty much a creature of habit. 
Um, I was a little afraid to check my blood sugars because I ended up eating some chicken wings uh, from the Costco cafeteria area. And usually with uh, their chicken wings, they're not breaded, but they're deep fried and probably some terrible oil. And uh, it's a little scary <laughs> when uh, you eat things that are fried in bad oils that might affect your blood sugar. But um, it's 7.8. Which is better than I thought it would be because um, because of the chicken wings. Um, 7.8 plus I had a coffee and it did have sweetener in it. I went to Starbucks because that's my once a month treat. <laughs> um, so I had a grande americano with actually a venti americano with three splendas. Um, Anyway, so 7.8, uh, I was actually expecting it to be higher. Um, this week's been on and off. I don't know what's going on. Um, next week, I'm definitely going to focus more on um, getting my blood sugars down and definitely going to be doing some fasting. And I need to refocus and get on some exercise. Um, the weather's starting to warm up a little bit, which is nice so that I can take more walks. Um, some days it's been really cold and I don't like walking out in the cold too much, but um, I know excuses, excuses, but um, so anyways, I'm having chili tonight and that's one of the recipes I'm going to be posting. That's mostly ground beef, onions, <clears throat> and spices. There's no beans in this one, um, but I did have a spoonful yesterday and it's really good, like so tasty. I, I just love it so i'm hoping it doesn't make it spike my blood sugars i'll let you know though if it does good morning just out for my morning walk um just update from yesterday after my chili uh, i checked my blood sugars was around 6.8 two hours after i ate it which is good um this morning I had an egg omelette and now I'm out for my walk and I'll be walking for about an hour. As you saw, I just went for that walk. I had my omelette this morning. Um, I'm just gonna check my blood sugars. It's about 10 a.m. I haven't checked yet today. Um, I'm always hesitant to check in the morning because it's always high. And, you know, now that I just got home from the walk, it's probably high because my adrenaline's still pumping. I don't know, sometimes, almost always after exercise, I think my blood sugar goes up. Uh, where are we at today? We are at 8.1. I would say that's not bad for a morning. <laughs> um... So hopefully before noon it'll go down, although I am testing out some recipes. Good afternoon, it is about 4.30 p.m. Uh, we're on day six, and um, as you saw this morning, I went for my walk. I um, have been making a few things for my Instagram stories today. Um, I used the bread I bought from Costco yesterday to make um, uh, French toast waffles. And I had two of them with some uh, low carb maple syrup. Um, I haven't checked my blood sugars yet. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Although everything is low carb and keto. Um, but you never know. So I'm gonna check my blood sugars now. And we'll see how any everything affected me. Um, if something did, I probably won't know what it was because there was a few different ingredients. So, could be the bread, could be the, the maple syrup, could be the erythritol used in the uh, French toast. But we'll see how it is. Hmm, not bad. 7.7. 7. Um, 
I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it says 7.7. .7. And once again, I am managing my diabetes without medications. Um, so if you've joined me this far, I'm sure you know that. But if you're new and you skipped every other <laughs> week that I did, um, I am trying to get it down to under 7 most of the time is my goal right now. Um, although my morning sugars, I don't know if I ever will. Uh, but throughout the day, it's getting in the 7s, under 7 is where I'm at right now and I'm hoping to continue to get it lower. I know I need to do more fasting and I think I probably say it often that I'm gonna do some fasting and then I don't, something comes up. Um, as you saw in week two, I think I did a three day fast and you saw my numbers go down pretty good. Um, however, it does go back up if you don't continue fasting regularly. So I'm gonna try and do that uh, three day fast next week. Um, as I said in the beginning of this episode, that I'm not going to do or test any products anymore. Um, I'm going to try and focus more on weight loss, getting my numbers down, doing some fasting. Um, however, don't forget, I do have a discount code for the four uh, products, uh, US and Canada, Diabetes 10 and I also have a discount code for 15% off your first order with iHeart Fat Fudge. Um, the um, case study we did is over. Um, hopefully I can share some results with you once it's over. Well, it is over, but once we receive the results. <laughs> I know mine, um, but I'm, I'm not allowed to say um, until it's all um, compiled with everyone's and, and it's done. Um, but in any case, um, this evening I'm just having a steak and probably some veggies, salad, or I'm not sure, maybe Brussels sprouts. And that's it. Um, so I will check in with you tomorrow. It's already noon. And I had my coffee this morning. I had a uh, cheese folio wrap with some salami again. Um, I haven't gone for my walk yet, but I am going after lunch. And so I haven't checked my blood sugar at all today because I was working on some Pinterest pins. Well, long story, I try to pin all my recipes and create pins for them and then link to them. And if you're ever on Pinterest, feel free to repin my pins and click on the, the pins. That'll help me a lot. Um, I'm just gonna check my blood sugars and then I'm going for lunch. Going for lunch, I'm gonna have lunch, which is, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna have. Probably something quick, like, the usual deli meat and cheese. Um, so this week so far my blood sugars have been eh, here and there. Um, right now they're not bad, 6.9. And it's just before noon, I think. So um, that's good. My morning blood sugars seem to be getting a little better under control as I'm learning to eat something in the morning. Normally, you know, if you've done a lot of fasting or intermittent fasting, I was always kind of trained that, you know, skipping breakfast is always the easiest um, to do intermittent fasting because in the morning you're not that hungry and then you can skip breakfast and then just have lunch and dinner and that'll be about a 16 hour fast or so. Um, but realizing I think breakfast might be the most important um, meal of the day for me to get off on the right foot and help bring my blood sugars down. That's what I've learned this week. Um, you know, I don't have it all figured out. You know, when I first started keto and I lost a lot of weight, it was very easy for me to control my blood sugars. My A1Cs were always, you know, 5.8, 5.9. Um, but it's been three years since I've started doing keto and now I'm realizing that it's it's not as easy to manage the blood sugars. 
Um, not that it's that hard, it's just, it's frustrating um, to, you know, watch numbers go up and down. And, you know, I'm learning a lot by doing this and documenting it, um, learning what foods affect me. Um, I learned that, you know, there's a certain bar that <laughs> spikes my blood sugar is pretty good. Um, and, you know, those things, it's an individual, you know, thing where, you know, what affects me may not affect you. So always test yourself. Um, and that's why I mentioned that um, I'm no longer going to be testing products because, you know, it could affect you differently. Um, so learning that um, what I eat at breakfast uh, helps bring my blood sugars down as long as it's really something low carb. Um, so again, cheese, some deli slices, um, you know, if you have leftover steak from the night before, maybe a little, an ounce or two, um, you know, things like that. Some meat and a cheese or a dairy, for me, it seems to help. Um, and then throughout the rest of the day, it continues to stay around there or lower, depending what I eat, of course. Yesterday I did have some of that uh, carbonate bread, uh, which was really good, and luckily after two hours it did not spike my blood sugars, so that was really good to see. Even though I had um, some uh, low carb maple syrup with it. Um, so as I'm doing this, I'm hoping you're learning a little more about yourself too, and how you can manage your diabetes better. Um, and that's why I'm sharing what I'm doing, just to help and support people, give people ideas. You know, I don't have it all figured out, but as we go, I'm hoping to learn a lot more and what works for me might work for you. And uh, hopefully we can do this together. Um, so please feel free to um, subscribe if you haven't already, um, so you can be notified of any new episodes. I also share my recipes each week. Feel free to share them with other people who you think might benefit from them uh, or benefit from these uh, real life with type 2 diabetes videos. Um, and thanks for watching.